I got the creme de la creme of steaks, Japanese A5 Wagyu straight from Japan. Flew it out overnight. This thing cost me like $250. It comes with everything. I got the certificate, certificate of authenticity. Japanese A5 gives you the marbling score, tells you when the cow was killed, tells you all that stuff. We're gonna be cooking this two different ways. What I'm gonna do is cut a little like piece here. And I'm gonna cook it how I normally cook steak. I'm gonna put it in the oven and then sear it. And then what also I'm gonna do is something I've seen from other YouTubers, take a little slice of the Wagyu, put it on some sushi rice, and then dip that in egg, and it's gonna be crazy. So, let's watch. All right, so now we're about to get this thing open. I'm gonna be really careful. Let's take this out. So for this, I wanna keep it super simple. I'm literally just gonna use salt and I'm gonna let it sit there. You want nice, big, flaky salt. But you could probably use more salt than that too. Now we're just gonna let it sit for a little and then we're gonna slice it up, cook it up. Okay, so everything's seasoned. Now we're gonna cut it up. What we're gonna do is cut out the middle area. I'm gonna reverse sear that and the other stuff we're gonna use for sushi. And we get Shin is over there. He's making the sushi rice, so. Don't judge my cutting skills for the Wagyu. Literally never done this before. It should be really easy to cut. Here. It's probably the worst cutting you guys have ever seen on a Wagyu video, I know. Okay, there. Okay, now we got this piece. This is what we're gonna use. We're gonna reverse sear it, and then we're gonna use in the cast iron. Put this to the side. Now. With Wagyu, the fat is super nice and everything. I'm gonna cut off like this piece of fat to use to put in the cast iron pan and then it's gonna cook in its own fat. And now for these pieces, once again, don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm going to try and thinly slice for sushi. In half, right? Yes. Okay, now here you see, we'll sear that for sushi. Probably do this piece for sushi too, right chat? Okay, that'd be another little sushi piece. And then for this, cut right here, got another little sushi piece, cut this. Shin, you wanna try this raw? Raw? Yeah. Right, you do it right now? Right now. No, hell no. I'm, 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 I'm gonna cut it thinner. Take it. Dude, they're gonna think, oh, hold on. Take it. Hold on, just, just real quick. I'm gonna, I wanna be seen as like the weird. It's not weird. Yo, chat, eating this is totally healthy. It's like the most prestige. Thing in the world, I'm just my tummy hurts, so I'm not trying to. Yo, what? <laughs> yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. It's good. That's it. That's it. You should have a $300 piece of steak, and that's what you say. But it's like the best. You want a piece? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Yo, take a piece, take a piece, take a piece. <laughs> Dude, no. Do it, 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 do it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Be nice melt in your mouth. No, it's actually pretty good. No, I'm not even kidding. It's good. That's actually really good. It's good. All right, so we're about to reverse through this Wagyu, put it down on the cooling rack. I preheated the oven to 375. Once again, we don't want to overcook this, so I'm going to put it in only for probably like 10 minutes aside, if that. And yeah, we're gonna keep taking the temp, make sure we don't overcook it. All right, as you guys see in the title, we're also doing things different here. We're gonna be microwaving this. I'm gonna put a few pieces, or maybe one piece, because I don't wanna waste the whole thing. Put it in the microwave, we're gonna see how it tastes. All right, so I'm gonna be putting this piece in the microwave. I'm not entirely sure how long I should put it in for, guys. Like, you guys thinking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a minute, and I'm gonna look at it. Are you actually microwaving it? Yeah, bro. Fuck it. All right, chat, three, two, one, go. Can you guys see that? It is a cooking. You don't see this anywhere else on YouTube. Make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for the Wagyu chat. It is sizzling. Ooh la la chat. Ooh la la chat. All right, let's try this. So this has been in here for a second now, like five, 10 minutes as I predicted. And now we're gonna flip it. All right, we are gonna flip this now. Put it right here. 
put this back in for like another 10 minutes and then we're gonna sear it. All right, chat, we're putting this back in the microwave for longer just because I want to see what it's like for a bit longer. All right, three, two, one, go. Boom. Okay, now we got a nice sear on it. We got a nice sear. I don't know if you guys can see. Can we get a close up of that? Nice sear, chat. All right, guys, moment of truth. We got the finest utensils in all of the land. Mmm. Chat. Mmm. Tastes like the deli meat you get, you know? No, I'm trolling. It tastes really good, tender, melting in my mouth. I love it. If you guys have the chance to get Wagyu, make sure you microwave it. You guys are missing out. All right, it's been another 10 minutes on this side. We're gonna take it out now. It looks pretty perfect as it's gonna be ready to get to. All right, pan is super hot now. I'm gonna use the fat. All right, pan is super hot. This got cooked a lot from the reverse sear, so I'm literally just gonna sear it like five, 10 seconds each side. I like beautiful chat. I like beautiful. All right, and now, it honestly should be done, let me see. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Let's bring it over to the plate. Yo, I'm keep eating it. They say you don't wanna eat too much because, yo, homie's stealing it. Oh, he's oh. stealing! Bro, it's a little rascal, literally. I don't even know what to say. But you're not supposed to eat that much of it because I get super rich, but it's probably worth a tummy ache to be honest. So let's take one more piece, chat. It's so good. It's so good. Your mouth just feels like getting coated by little explosions of fat. It's delicious. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to bless the rest of the TNA mansion with these three lovely, huge pieces of Wagyu. I think Hugo's sleeping, but yo, you want to try the most expensive steak in the world? One Dude, piece. It's worth it. You're gonna make me eat a piece of Wagyu when I just woke up. Take a piece. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> How is it? It's good. It like it literally is like butter, dude. Chat, chat. Really good, bro. But like, yo, slick. You wanna try the most expensive steak in the world? It's right here, I'm outside your door. Just take one piece. Take a piece and then let's hear your reaction. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 you gotta get your reaction. Great success. It tastes good, it tastes like any steak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know Kirsch is pissed about that one. <laughs> I'm repeating you again. Chat, you guys see you people I live with, bro? Like, Let's, let's go bless Oliver, bro. Let's go to Oliver's. Chat. Chat. What's up? Chat. I'm about to bless you with the most expensive steak in the world. Oh, this is $200. I got gum in my mouth, yeah? Where are they going? Chat. Yo, that stuff is raw. Yo, you didn't even cook no, that. No, no, no. Yo, it's not cooked. We ate it raw. You're not supposed to cook it. It's so good, bro. It's fine. It's a lot of flavor. Chat, if I. If Yo, any... Chat, if you want to be in Kirsch's vlog, say what up. Uh, bro, I can't describe what it feels like, what it tastes like. It's like, it's just, I don't know, man. It like just melts in your mouth, you know? It's like butter. It's like there's a bunch of butter. It's just straight butter. Think it's worth the money? No. If <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to move into the TNA mansion and get cooked by your boy, like, just leave a comment. I'm looking for new people to move in. All right, so this is at 167 now. Perfectly poached the egg. Put him in for 13 minutes. Actually, probably three or four. I'm gonna place it carefully in to make sure it doesn't crack. All right, now that that's it for 13 minutes. All right, now we're gonna get the rice ready for the Wagyu. So we're just gonna use our hands here and mold these. <laughs> it's just sticky as f It's sticky rice. <laughs> what? All right, I got my hands wet now. We're gonna form these into little sushi beds. All right, now we got eight pieces of sushi rice. Uh, cook that up, eggs are almost done, and then we're gonna dip it in the egg. All right, so it's been 13 minutes. You wanna transfer the eggs now to a cold bath of water to immediately stop the cooking, which is annoying, but. Okay. All right, now we're gonna crack these here. Should be a perfectly poached egg. Now we got these three, 
sushi over here to be able to dip the sushi once it's ready. We're gonna get this heat on. Let that heat up, and then we're gonna quickly flash fry these, put these on top, and then you dip it in the eggs. All right, guys, now we're gonna put these on really quickly. Sear it. Guys, I'm super excited. This actually smells so good. I'm gonna take this piece right here and dip it in the egg. <laughs> Might be the best bite of food I've ever had in my entire life. Come try. It's so much softer than. Yeah. Alright yeah. guys, so I got the Wagyu right here. I just want to coat it in a little bit of G Fuel before you cook it up. And now it's all cooked up. Super excited to try it. Alright guys, you guys just saw that crazy ass blooper. If you guys aren't following my TikTok as well, you can see the whole video of that down there. Mixed up the Wagyu with some G Fuel. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos, make sure to drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.